Game time tonight here for Highland Talmadge. And here we go, Hornets Blue Devils opening tip off one by good guys. Whoopsies, great to have your board time room. Forgot to come, do not disturb. Yeah, this is a screen of course. Looks like that's Matt Miller passing it. Coming, 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 going over to the right corner. That's Alexis Fierce. Now Kendall Hayes over. Maddie, Maddie going over. That's left side. Lindsey Frederick with a D2. No problem for the senior. Who else said the Hornets up first? Talmadge may want to pass that. There's number 41, Addie Bowman passing it back here. Talmadge with it. There's number two. I think that might be Luxie Gray. Nope, that's number three, Maya Dexter, who commits an offensive foul. Give it to the Hornets early on this game. Maya Dexter, Addie Bowman. Looks like Warren Teeling and Mia Zapala is or, or almost, there's kind of passing over left side. There's a three ball, and so too much mustard out there. And Kendall pokes the ball away for a minute. Give it to the Blue Devils. There's also Natalie Rays. Notice some of these last names from last night's game for the boys team. Now for those that forgot, the boys team won. 50 to 42, you can find that here on the Highland Sports Network. It's Dexter to inbound this. Looks like she'll inbound it to Zapola. And Dexter finds someone, finds Zapola. Maddie playing good defense and Zapola. And Mia Zapola with a high lob. And here they go the other way. Good defense out there as it one, two, and finally gets it off. But Watch this beer says, I'll take that basketball. Kendall McCormick, who has a thousand career points, passes it. And she'll add another assist as Elena Tacita makes it a four nothing game. Dexter passing it off side. Dexter gets it back. Dexter passing it to Bowman. Bowman passing it to Zapala, Zapala at 5-3, the freshman driving and passing and shooting that in, it is good. Warren Tealing who's 5'2", look at this team, they're not really that tall compared to us, as Maddie passing it, or no, Kendall passing it to Anna, now back to Kendall, Kendall looking, like this was jumping, but Manuel there, Manuel pump fakes, pass back to Cal McCormick, Cal McCormick is driving, Cal McCormick stops, Kendall goes back, Kendall passing it to Maddie, Maddie just trying to find someone, finds Alexis, who goes out, here we go, on to that is Lindsay Frederick! Four points! The rest of everyone out here combined also has four. Bowman passes it to Dexter, Dexter being guarded by Kendall. Dexter may want to get out of there as she might not get out and now she will. And here's my Dexter slicing, dicing, tough shot, no foul, no bucket ball, gets tipped around. There goes Kendall McCormick with two easy points perhaps! And misses with the second chance. Shot away to Tacita. It is 8-2. to two, Four points each for both Lindsay and Elena. And now Bowman gets it from Dexter. And up, Lindsay just took it away. And Lindsay's driving and Lindsay misses. And the rebound right there is going to try to poke it away. Good job there by Caruso. Grab it, you know, too long to get the rebound. And pressure right there is Dexter. And Maya Dexter trying to get away from uh, Kendall McCormick. Kendall McCormick getting really tight defense right there on Maya Dexter. And Dexter being double team perhaps. He may want to pass it. And she gets away from double team for now. 5-11 left. And the ball went out of bounds. Give it to the Blue Devils. Coach for Talmadge is Joe Leonard. And the assistant coaches are Courtney O'Donnell and Bryn Stroka. And we all know Coach Manson coaches us. We're six and two. Hopefully, going to be seven and two out here. Maya Dexter launches that one, and a good catch right there. There's the pole. Me is the pole, and pressure passing it. Dexter, Dexter underneath the bucket, rejected, but the foul. Five oh four is left to the first, so that means we've seen two minutes and fifty six seconds of high school basketball on this Wednesday night. Oh, did you miss uh, today's episode of the Time Room Sports Show talking uh, Mario, or playing Mario Maker while talking about the national championship? If not, you can find it right here. First shot missed. Lexi Gray is in. And we'll see what happens here. Second shot missed. Rebound there by Bowman. Bowman going back. There's a three ball by Rees. And Natalie Rees misses. And the ball goes up for Ben. Alexis takes away. Now Kendall McCormick has the basketball. Kendall heaves that one to Maddie. Good pump fake. Maddie Miller passing. And that is poked away by the pole. The pole feeling the double team. Forces a bad pass. And that's going to be a possession. 
And that means Savage is gonna get it. Some substitutions because you know, sometimes substitutions is how you run again. And it looks like we will indeed have some substitutions. Dexter needing to inbound this. And there she goes to the left side. Now she gets it back. Maya Dexter in an 8-2 game as the scoreboard says. And Maya Dexter being guarded by Kendall. Now feeling the double team. She may want to get that away. She is going to backcourt. Give it to the Hornets. After um, that backcourt, of course. Here comes the inbound. Yeah, it's Taryn Kenny who inbounded that to Kendall. Kendall going to cross backcourt. Kendall going to pass it to Manny. Manny just looking for someone. There is Brian Watson. Now Kelly McCormick for three. Boom! Shagalaka! Nothing new for the senior. Of course, as I mentioned back on Monday night, she record her 1,000th career point. So nothing new on her. And now there is Dexter before she can get out. Timeout! Well, good guys. Really having the upper edge on those Blue Devils. 11-2. Our five that are in are Maddie Miller, Kendall McCormick, Dwayne Lawson, Tyrone Kenny, and Olena Tassina. Of course, we're up by nine. Here is Zapala. Zapala feeling pressure. Zapala needs to get that out. Passing it to Dexter. Dexter passing it. And the ball almost poked away. In fact, it was. That was Dwayne Lawson. Kendall with a long heave. And that was a little too long. I'm showcasing her arm out there. She can throw basketball very far. And speaking of throwing the ball very far, there is Natalie Ruiz who passing it to my Dexter. And up there, still easy points for Kendall McCormick. No problem. She has five points. Four for Lindsay. Four for Elena. Good game out here for the good guys. My Dexter with a one handed launch, and that's right on target. 13 to 2. And Reeves feeling the pressure. Now he Reeves gets the ball poked away. And Kendall McCormick off to the races. And Kendall McCormick is going to get fouled. Yeah. Looks like that was probably, or I believe, Dwayne Lawson, who's towards the center of your screen now, walking towards the right of your screen. Or, came, or who took that ball away. And for the first time tonight, we're going to see some free throws. Kendall makes the first throw. And Brooke Stewart comes in. Looks like Warren Matney is also in for those Blue Devils. Second shot is no good. Dexter on the miss. Passing it to Reese. Natalie Reese, big guard by Dwayne. Passing it back to my Dexter. My Dexter over the right side. Number 10 to Anna Kringle. And here they go. 13, Sydney Bex. Over left side of the court for three. That is good. Maya Dexter with their first field goal in a while. And it comes with about three minutes to go in the quarter. Delaney Lawson now to Kendall. Kendall with six today. Kendall's driving pass back. Maddie Miller somehow without any points so far. Tough shot left hand to lamp. No good. And the ball getting poked out. And Allie Reese gets in. Ball gets poked out again. That's good defense right there. Possession. Give it to the Hornets. Tyrion Kenny being helped to get that basketball. And look out, there's Addie Bowman. You can tell who Addie Bowman is because she is the tallest person on the court today. Because she is six foot two, which is tallest in Talmadge and tallest for us is Alexis. She's six foot. Speaking of Alexis, I think she's back in. There's a deep two pointer that was missed by the winner, but she's gonna get it back and she's gonna heave it out to Kendall. Kendall feels the pressure. Kendall is driving. Kendall slices, dices, shoots, scores! Wow! She has eight points because that's exactly what Kelly McCormick does. My Dexter, who has at least three points today. Dexter gonna go fall right to a double team, but passing it. There's a swing deep to the left side. And now here they go underneath the bucket. Missed shot there by Bowman. Bowman trying to get it back. Bowman loses the ball. There is going to be a foul. Yeah. 2.06 is left. Score reads. Howard 16. Comments 5. 
Lauren Frederick takes in for Kendall. And Kendall's going to have herself a great game. And there is Bowman who passes it to number 13. Bax, Bax got the ball poked away. That was the lady Watson. You heard the back right there. The lady did some travel. Happens to the best of us. Dwayne Watson a little too fast. Now here they go to the side. Now he reads passing it. To Dexter, Dexter going to Sydney Beck, Sydney Beck passing it. And here they go. Dexter. Dexter drives and over the defense. That's no good. Bowman tried to grab the miss, but that was a foul. 156 to go. 16 to 5. There's your score. Talmadge has used one timeout. We have used zero. Lenny against sit on down and now he will check back in. And then Teeling is back in for Talmadge just for the PA announcer. As Maddie gonna get the ball from Warren Frederick. Maddie heaves it right on back to Warren. Warren is in pressure with a high pass out to Lindsay. Lindsay needs to get out of there. Lindsay gets away. Out to Warren. Brooke Stewart throw about long two. Warren and Brooke passing it to Warren. Warren going right side. Warren Frederick slicing, dicing. Well, play that's good. Good job by the senior. Despite standing at 5 for 5, she has a splendid basketball player. Bex passing it to Dexter. Dexter being guarded by Warren and Brooke. And now Warren and her team up. And now Alexis and Brooke. And it looks like there's going to be a travel call. Give it to the Hornets. Everything is coming up Highland today. With a minute 17 to go in the game. Warren inbounds this to Manny Miller. It's been a good one. And now there's Warren Frederick now to. Brooke Stewart, Brooke Stewart, near the baseline and poked away by Maya Dexter. And Maya Dexter again tried to go left and over by Maya Dexter crosses the corner. Maya Dexter doing this all by herself when he passes it back. There's a three. Lexi Gray is good. So that's her second three today. Dexter has one of them. Gray has that other. It's 18 to 8. Maddie going to Warren Frederick. Who loses it to Gray? Here comes Talmadge. Sydney Bucks. Gonna pass it there to the left side. There's a whistle and foul or one out. Regardless, give it to the Blue Devils. Way to see a Kendall McCormick are back. Kendall has eight points. Talmadge also has eight points. Looking and passing it to Owen Teeling. Owen Teeling holding on to the ball. Owen Teeling is gonna have that ball go. Be kicked. Give it to the Blue Devils. Sydney Bex is going to once again inbound this and Bex with a heave and that ball gets tipped and it will go to Talmadge. And some stepping out of bounds right there by Mia Zapola. Give it to the Hornets again. Because why not? Kendall to Maddie. Late in the first. Under a minute to go. Maddie to and it looks to be a winner now. Maddie gets it back and here we go. Oh, and Tessina wants a three and she won't get the three. And there's going to be a foul on the good guys. Which means to get it. So far as one might out by the scoreboard it has been all Hornets today. So here they go. And the 13 Sydney Bucks, Sydney Bucks passing it to Tim. Tim goes back to Bucks, Bucks passes it. Here they go the other way. Driving, less than 10 seconds to go, that is good. Four seconds, it is 18 to 10. Kendall with one last team, which she attempts. I don't think that'll count, it doesn't go in. Nonetheless, but still, been a good one right now. Talmadge has been getting on a roll. They were down by 13, now they've cut to an eight point game. We'll be right back.